Now let's take a look at the work the SWIFT Institute does to encourage, develop and support the financial experts of tomorrow. Now the Institute's Student Challenge is in its seventh year and this year for the very first time it is being hosted in South America with challenges in Colombia and Mexico. Well Nancy Murphy is the Assistant Director at the SWIFT Institute and Johnny is now with her. Thanks, Julia, and thank you, Nancy, for taking your time uh, to spend some time with Cybus TV today. Let's talk these student challenges, shall we? Uh, why do you conduct them, first and foremost? Well, we conduct the student challenges to really excite and energize students to come work in our industry. Um, a lot of what goes on here, whether it's correspondent banking or all the new uh, new innovations happening in the financial industry are not taught in some of even the MBA programs or the finance programs. So we run the student challenges to tap into some really brilliant talent and introduce them to the exciting world. As Julia has pointed out, we've gone even further afield than we have in the past this year. How do you choose what country to host the challenges in? Well, Initially, we started by always hosting the student challenge in the same country that Cybus is held. This was really a great way to reach into the local community, um, and we'd also bring the students here to experience all the Cybos. But when the pandemic hit, we all went digital. Well, we took that opportunity to reach into countries that we normally wouldn't get to. So last year, for instance, it was in India, and this year, we came, went to Latin America, so we've hosted two challenges, one in Colombia and the other in Mexico. So as we hear, it's difficult enough to choose where the challenges are going to take place, but it, may, it must be even more difficult to choose what topics to cover as well. There are so many different themes being covered at this year's Cybos. How did you guys come to choose the topics you have for the challenge? Well, and actually, it's not only so many themes to choose from, but every country has a really kind of slightly different makeup of their banking system, right? And they face different issues. So once we choose the country and where we're going to um, host the student challenge, our, the SWIFT business development team reaches into their community and works with the local payment associations to determine what challenge they want. Now, so for instance, this year we're running one in Colombia, so Asa Bancaria came up with their challenge to figure out how can banks embed into e-commerce apps. Whereas in Mexico, the, the Bankers Association of Mexico, they wanted to look at how can banks improve financial inclusion by using technology to improve remittances and flows. So two different challenges because they're two different countries. Now I uh, have been blown away in the past by the level of competency of some of the students that have victored in the challenges in years gone by. How do you guys choose what level of student can take part in something like this? Well, it's open to any student, really, that's involved in the secondary education. So once they're past the 12th or the 13th grade, we don't limit it to graduate school students because, quite honestly, quite a lot of the startups, whether you look at Facebook, he was 18, 19. So that's, we don't look at them, it just has, they have to have finished a high school education and be enrolled full time in an institute of higher education. Okay, so let's, let's talk about how you guys select the semi-finalists then. What, what are you looking for? We're looking for their understanding of the problem, the really understanding of what what the challenge is and what the environment in that country is. So we actually have a call with every submitter. So it's usually myself, someone from the banking association, someone from SWIFT, and we look at, we talk to every team and really see if they understand what the problem is. And then also talk about their solution and whether it's a viable solution. And then we shortlist them to come to Cybos. So let's talk about uh, how this, this process, how the student uh, challenge is valuable to SWIFT uh, and the community at large. I, you know, it's usually valuable because it, as I said before, a lot of what happens in our industry, students don't know about it. In fact, in a couple of student challenges ago, the student was like, I didn't really understand the issues of cybersecurity until she started to do her research to do the challenge. So it opens up a huge talent pool because this is advertised across many different schools and sometimes the whole country. They get to know what SWIFT is, 
as well as what some of the banking, how, how the banking works in their country. So it just is an enormous um, bonus for talent, uh, talent acquisition for the future. Now, we were talking earlier, and you gave away that you have been particularly impressed by what you've seen this year. Uh, but for the camera, tell us what you think of this year's teams, uh, what are you expecting from them, and perhaps any words of encouragement you could give them. <laughs> well, you know, every year I'm blown away by the solutions that, these, that students, young students, come up with. And it's just amazing that they come and they present to a Cybos audience. This year's challenges, I have to say, I'm even more particularly impressed because you have to know that these countries are Spanish-speaking countries. This is the first time that these students have ever had to present anything in English. And so I can't even imagine that they're doing it in not their native language. And when you see the presentations, you're going to be totally blown away that they were able to do this and get it to a standard that we can produce here at Cybos. So I'm very, very proud of them. And I just think even we only have one winner per challenge. And I just, all of you students who have done this year's challenge, you're all winners. And this is such an incredible, you know, really to look at them and say they can go anywhere with the skills and the confidence that they showed in doing their presentations for Cybos, there's nothing that they can't do. And trust me, the age of some of the students who have taken part in this year's challenge make you incredibly jealous and incredibly impressed. Uh, Nancy, thank you so much for giving your time on Cybos TV. Nancy Murphy, Assistant Director of Swift Institute. Thank you.